हेलो एंड हाय वेलकम टू खेल नाउ टी आप देख रहे हैं इन साइड इंडियन फुटबॉल यू आर वॉचिंग इन साइड इंडियन फुटबॉल एपिसोड नंबर 51 हमें करते करते इक्यावन एपिसोड हो चुके हैं पिछले डेढ़ दो साल से हम ये शो कर रहे हैं आई कैन स्टिल सी एवरीबडी फ्रॉम अ ओल्ड एज स्मृति रंजन स्मृति रंजन दास वेलकम कुमार रेड्डी साहब वेलकम अनिकेश सावंत वेलकम सौरभ राना कोई ग्लिच नहीं है भाई थोड़ा सा डिले हो गया थोड़ा कुछ काम कर रहे थे थोड़ा डिले हो गया और कुछ नहीं आप सभी का स्वागत है खेल रहा हूँ टी पे आप हम आज बात करने वाले हैं बहुत सारी चीज़ों के बारे में बट एक स्पेशल पेन पेपर लेके आया हूँ मैं आपके आप, आप लोगों के लिए आ, एक जो इंडियन फुटबॉल का स्ट्रक्चर है जो इतना कन्फ्यूजिंग हो गया है कि हमारे क्लब्स को भी ढंग से समझ में नहीं आता कि किसको ए कब स्लॉट मिलने वाला है किसको चैंपियंस लीग स्लॉट मिलने वाला है क्या कब को कभी आई लीग कप टूर्नामेंट बन जाता है कभी सुपर कप कभी फेडरेशन कप अब डूरन कप भी मिक्स में आ गया है तो वो सब कुछ मैं आज एक पेन पेपर से आप लोगों को समझाने की कोशिश करूंगा क्योंकि लोगों को बहुत कन्फ्यूजन हो रहा है ट्वेंटी गेम्स का रूल क्या है क्या नहीं है राम राम भाई साहब इंग्लिश में भी बात करेंगे अमला नाश बताओ आज जो अपडेट दोगे वो सच होना चाहिए नो अप्रैल फुल प्रैंक आई हैव हम इस चैनल अमनान वी हैव नॉट डन एनी सो दैट्स द थिंग वी विल नॉट गिव यू ऑल द ट्रांसफर न्यूज और ऑल द न्यूज वेन एवर वी ट्राई टू गिव यू न्यूज आर द कन्फर्म वन वी ट्राई टू कन्फर्म इट फ्रॉम मल्टीपल सोर्सेज सो देर विल बी नो अप्रिल प्रैंक फ्रॉम आर साइड एंड मे बी दैट्स द रीजन वी विल नॉट टॉक मच अबाउट ट्रांसफर्स एट दिस स्टेज ओनली द कन्फर्मेशन न्यूज विच वी हैव राइट नाउ विद विल ट्राई टू गिव यू राधे राधे भाई राधे राधे भाई मैं थक गया हूँ दूसरी टीम फीफा कल फीफा क्वालिफिकेशन आई थिंक इंडिया के विंडो से बाहर है हमारे सिलेबस से बाहर है करेंटली इंडिया नीड टू फोकस मोर ऑन ए एफ सी एशियन कप एज ग्रुप वर्ल्ड कप एफ इंडिया रियली वॉन्ट टू प्रोग्रेस आई थिंक द वे टू वे टू डू इट इज टू क्वालिफाई फॉर फीफा अंडर सेवनटीन वर्ल्ड कप फीफा अंडर ट्वेंटी वर्ल्ड कप ऑन रेगुलर बेसिस क्वालिफाई फॉर ओलंपिक्स में भी यू नो एंड देन होपफुली वन डे वंस दीज एज ग्रुप टीम प्रोग्रेस टू दी सीनियर लेवल we can qualify for fifa world cup and we, uh, right now currently with four asian teams uh, playing in the world cup 4.5 you can say i think it's impossible for india to qualify at this rate the way we are developing the way we are progressing i have not seen national team progressing since 2019 according to me we have taken a backward step this is my personal opinion and i'm not asking anybody to follow it but i personally feel i think we had good benchmark to build our national team uh, performance and progress but i think we missed it because of covid because of various reason and national team is standing at the same place where it was 5 to 6 years ago so i think uh, that's why structure of domestic football grassroots football is also very important as important as indian super league any league in the country because if your grassroots football is not there india will not qualify india there's only way to qualify for the world cup is then to host दी वर्ल्ड कप आई थिंक होस्ट करके ही आप वर्ल्ड कप के लिए क्वालिफाई uh, कर सकते हो जिस तरह इंडिया करेंटली प्रोग्रेस कर रहा है यहाँ इटली स्वीडन क्वालिफाई नहीं कर पा रहा है और तुम सो द थिंग इज दैट यू नो वाई द यूरोपियन यू एफ आ दे वॉन्ट मोर स्लॉट्स फॉर यूरोप बिकॉज एवरी ईयर एवरी वर्ल्ड कप एडिशन देर इज अ बिग कंट्री मिसिंग अप फॉर एग्जाम्पल इटली हैज नॉट क्वालिफाइड फॉर लास्ट टू वर्ल्ड कप नेदरलैंड मिस द लास्ट वर्ल्ड कप so they say why you are giving slots to africa asia even south america uh, so european countries have a demand of more world cup slots uh, and i think once world cup is getting into 48 teams there is no guarantee that asia will get eight slots because uefa have been demanding for more and more slots uh, for themselves and you know that's the reason uh, still there is no verification and no confirmation from fifa side how many slots asia will get if world cup if it's not if it it's already confirmed when world cup will uh, move into the 48 teams you know in in 2020 uh, 32 2034 so, so i think uh, the, that's the important thing uh, if i right yeah 2034 so i think uh, if in asia gets eight slots maybe maybe then india might have some chances if we all for that also we need to make sure that we are working on a grassroots football we are doing what need to be done i think take a example of vietnam the kind of development vietnam have done in last uh, say 5 to 7 years i think they are one of the most best asian teams asian nation in terms of the progress in football vietnam i remember sunil chhetri scoring that hat trick against vietnam uh, it was 2010 in pune friendly game if i remember correctly 
and Sunil Chetri scored that hat trick. It had a fancy back heel goal from Sunil Chetri. And you see Vietnam senior team today, we are nowhere near to beat them by one goal. Forget about our striker scoring hat trick. So that much progress Vietnam has done in last 12 years. So I think and still um, the, the, their qualification to the World Cup, it's not still sure. So that's the, uh, you know, uh, I will just check where Vietnam finished in the World Cup qualification for you guys. So I think um, and the way Vietnam, they are they're still in the final round of the qualifiers, uh, Vietnam. And let's see where they are right now in the final round. So as of now, Iran, Qatar, Iran, South Korea, Japan and Saudi Arabia has qualified. And uh, UAE and Australia, fifth round. So Vietnam finished last in their table, uh, the table uh, in the group B. They were with Saudi Arabia, Japan, Australia, Oman, China, Vietnam. So Vietnam had four points, one win, one draw, eight losses. Surprisingly, Oman had four win, uh, two draw, and four losses. A couple of years back, we were were looking like neck to neck with Oman. So that's what the Asian teams are making progress at a rapid, rapid, rapid space, uh, rapid pace. Indian, 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 India need to make sure they are neck to neck with these rising Asian countries like Oman. China, Vietnam and now to give an example, you know, UAE is also have advanced to the fourth round also. So to give an example, you know, uh, if it moves to eight teams from Asia, currently four teams who have qualified are Iran, uh, South Korea, Saudi Arabia and Japan. Then there is UAE and Australia in the playoff places, you know, so these are the your uh, six teams for remaining two slots, countries like Iraq. Lebanon, Syria, Oman, China, Vietnam, they will be fighting for, you know, and uh, that's tell you everything about that, how competitive it, it is going to be, even if it moves to 48 team slots. So I think World Cup dream, we have to keep a hold right now. We have to make sure our football, domestic football, our grassroots football is properly managed, properly done, not, not like just on paper we are doing leagues, the grassroots leagues, but doesn't mean, you know, uh, uh, Actually, there is there is no, no proper league going on. So I think that's the also very important. And Vietnam is a perfect example. They were nowhere to be seen in the top 15 Asian countries. Now they are in top 10 Asian countries. And that's what they have done in just in last 10 years. So I think there is no shortcut to the success. And that's the thing. Sir, Kumar Reddy says, I had watched uh, Vietnam versus Japan. Game Vietnam main draw. If you play with them, they will win 4-0 against us. If Vietnam can produce players from one PVP academy, why we can't we and that's the most surprising part india used to have fifa regional academy in india and fifa elite academy in india uh, which is run by aff under the fifa goal project one was in mumbai one was in bangalore one was in kalyani kolkata one was in goa elite academy four academies were there nowhere in last it was there till 2017 fifa world cup since then all the academies are gone no news about them what happened to them Nothing, no update, nothing. So that's the thing. We need more academies and the actual academies from Federation are kind of shut now. Uh, Vietnam did basic thing. They started grassroots academy of under 10 in 2011. Now these players are 21 year old and are integral part of the nation. That's what I'm saying. Dream of qualify for World Cup is there for everybody including me. But I think if we can qualify for under 17 World Cup, under 20 World Cup on regular basis, then one day we might have chance to qualify for the senior World Cup. AFC Champions League mein kitne foreign players squad mein allowed hai. Uh, so uh, from this season or from next season, I think they will allowed 5, 4, 5 only, 4 plus 1 only. You have to check completely. Let me check this also to verify it because there was a rule, rule change. There was a rule change for the next season, I think, the number of foreigners. Give me one second. I have to verify this. I think I'm, I have no information right now that how many because they have changed the rule for now. But I think it's from next season onwards the competition will switch. So I think it will be 3 plus 1 only. Okay. No. So now you can you can uh, register more foreigners. 
uh, up to 35 players you can register instead of 30 which means you can register more than four foreigners but in the playing 11 it will be only three plus one so that's the thing which are the country we're gonna play in afc qualifiers uh india's draw was already confirmed we're playing um, afghanistan we are playing hong kong we are playing uh, afc asian cup round three i'll just confirm it we're playing hong kong for short we're playing uh India is with, yeah, India, Hong Kong, Afghanistan, Cambodia were four teams we are playing in one off game in Kolkata. Comment of uh, Mumbai, uh, Manchester City winning comfortably, oh, okay, Mumbai City FC winning comfortably against Al Hain and Al Hilal, though it was reverse team and their chances in this edition. I will not go with the friendly matches result because this season in uh, Middle East is in progress, so they will not going to field their full team. But I think good preparation for the AFC Champions League. Not sure of uh, overall their squad is decent. Uh, but Indian players, I think not at the level which Goa had when they played. Foreigners might be on a better level for sure. Uh, but let's see how they balance out and they didn't finish the season well in the ISL. Ashish Canada have qualified for World Cup and they have started grassroots league at every province. Why can't AFF start something like that? Bidding for under-17 World Cup won't do any good. That's the point, you know, uh, when... Under 17 World Cup uh, bidding happened and uh, many of people were discussing, the people who were in the, in the, in the game, uh, media professional, coaches, players, will this going to happen, will this going to help the India? It does help. We created that infrastructure. Honestly, I'm telling you, the infrastructure which was created by FIFA Under 17 in Delhi, right now, nobody is utilizing it. So that's, and I'm, I'm sure it is not maintained properly. So creating infrastructure is not going to help until you can put academy on those infrastructure. If there are four training pitches are were built in Delhi for FIFA Under 17 World Cup, what happened to those four training pitches? Can you put four academies on those training pitches? I think that's the way to see this instead of just hosting this tournament will not going to help uh, the Indian football. Please give tenure contract to teacher of Tuchel, Klopp and Pep. He will not only guide us to first World Cup but also win in first attempt. Uh, Amlan thinks doesn't happen like this. A coach cannot make you qualify for the World Cup. I think it's overall ecosystem need to do well instead of uh, just hoping that we can qualify for the World Cup. Is Chetri Vai, Sahel, Apuya will back? Yes, all three will be back for the qualifiers. Alvaro, contract extension, Anwar Dhin. It's a bit complicated, not as simple as that because uh, now Kerala have competition in place. Uh, maybe I think Kerala management maybe could have extended his contract while the season was going on. Now he has offered from other ISL team and it's on Kerala to match them. Uh, if, if Kerala can offer him good terms, I think Alvaro's priority is to stay with Kerala. But let's see, I think it's in transfer business. You never know, we have seen in past how quality strikers are snatched away from the, uh, from the teams, you know, Ugbeche's have been snatched away every transfer window by other team. So that's the scene with, scene with the Alvaro also. Why there is no news about FC Goa? The news, therefore, the, everything with Goa will only will be possible once you have uh, your coach is done. The coach is still is not done. That's why the new, no news from FC Goa side. We go neck to neck with under 16 team, but due to lack of training, exposure and game time from there. Uh, you can say, of course, we can go neck to neck. To give an example, Uttam Rai, uh, baby Baiching was he known as he is only Indian to score five goals at the Asian level match other was Baiching Bhutia uh, when he scored for East Bengal in the uh, club game uh, Uttam Rai scored in under 16 qualifiers EFC qualified five goals in a match can you anyone in the chat can me tell me where is Uttam Rai Uttam Rai also scored goal against uh, US national women's team hope solo batch in 20 uh, 12 when they were in IMG Florida so he was very talented striker where he is nobody can tell and that's the thing uh, the pathway is not there for these players to progress properly AFC Champions League timing was not mentioned uh, when will the qualifier match start the qualifier match will start in the I will just confirm 8th of June India is playing Cambodia and Salt Lake Stadium then 11th of June India is playing Afghanistan with just say uh, two day break and then 14th of June India is playing Hong Kong so first two game are very important because Hong Kong is a good team by the way but uh, uh, Cambodia India should defeat and if you can defeat Afghanistan in second match I think India should go through from here finger crossed because uh, we are hoping this team can do the minimum thing which is required if Manolo get offer from either ISL team there is such rumors like these please reply 
uh, Alex Benny, I think Manolo will st uh, stay with uh, Hyderabad. I think I confirmed in also, you know, uh, I know Uttam was in Nepal, but when Uttam scored those five goals in 2012, I remember, and as I, as I was just a college kid that time, I was hoping Uttam will replace Baiching Bhutia. I was not hoping that he will play in Delhi League and uh, Nepali League. So that's what I mean is, you know, there is no uh, transition for these players. Uh, junior Indian player, I will not speak anything on that. Uh, by new league structure announced hona tha is saal any update no update and was aaj structure pe bhi baat karenge uh, you know uh, jo ek thumbnail mein aapko dikha hai ki kyon itna confusing structure hai indian football ka ki fans ko nahi pata clubs ko nahi pata kya hone wala kya hone wala hai to wo cheeze hain usko baat karne wale do you think east and west zone system should be banished because it's harming our chances in tennis stage i am not a fan of afc way they do tournament east or west i am not a fan I think even if it's traveling a lot, I know maybe even if you do confederation, do it properly. India was put in a south zone in AFC Cup. We're playing Nepali Bangladesh club. Only one club is going through to the knockout stage. Four years before, our two clubs were in the knockout stage, which means our two clubs gets chances to play against best of West Asian clubs, South Asian, uh, East Asian clubs. So I'm not a fan of the structure changes with the AFF is keep, uh, AFCs keep on doing it. I think it's better you can apply the confederation model but there should be only two zone east zone west zone india should be either in west zone or in the east zone sometime in the champions league we are in the west zone in the afc cup we are in the south zone or east zone it have been very, has been very confusing last all these years with the afc and just like indian football structure afc tournament structure is as confusing as anything in the world i think algebra problem will be easier to solve uh, then uh, understanding the AFC structure and the formatting of the tournament. Uh, AFC Nation League news is true. Uh, AFC is planning for the Nation League for sure, but uh, not sure when they are going to implement it. I think after the Asia Cup uh, next year, we will see that. Uh, we need Minerva, JFC type academy in every city in India have a proper league of 40 matches of the state. Even we don't get the residential academy in every state of India or every city like you said, Santunu Tripathi. What we can have is good football program in every school of India because every school have football ground. I am sure uh, 80 to 90 people are watching me. They can tell uh, in the chat that they, they had football ground in the school or not. So most of the football schools have uh, schools in India have football ground. So if, if we can AFF or the state federation structure some way that you know those schools can provide football programs to their kids. I think that's the way going. Instead of opening these residential academy, it, it's good to have. I'm, I'm not saying it's bad to have residential academy, Santunu, but who will do it? That's the major point. But schools can easily organize this coaching clinic for football. And, you know, that's where you can start introducing kids to the, you know, uh, to the football. Uh, yes, yeah, so everything. Yes. Any Indian player to foreign league, everybody plays football here in schools. It's easy to play. That's my point. And that's the way you can implement it. Can you tell around when we'll hear from about FC Goa coach? I think last month I tried, so I was told that after, till the 15th of April, uh, you will have confirmation of FC Goa coach if all off go, goes well. So let's see, we are the 1st of April. Uh, this was last month I checked. I have not checked since then, so let me check and then let you know next time maybe. Any friendly opponent news, still, still they are still working on it, not confirmed. There will be some... Games might be against the club instead of uh, national team. What happened to reserve league? It will happen. Not all ISL team are playing it. Reliance Youth Foundation might uh, do it. You know, in, it will take place in Goa for sure. India should follow J League model. What is the need of 15 crore of FSDL instead of taking 15 crore? Ask the club to meet the standard of leagues. Ask them bank guarantee. Uh, that was done in the I League before also. Was it successful? DSK Sivajan, Bharat FC all came through that route where they are right now so you in india something will work something will not that's important uh ashish bhai nimdan odisha the head coach foreign extension or at least then we'll hear about the head coach just like goa odisha is also working on the foreign coach uh and they want to make it quick uh make sure the coach is part of the all the pre-season planning and the foreign signing so i think let's see what, where they go why we are improving so much in boxing wrestling shooting badminton hockey athletes etc football is not a priority for the government uh, government pay around 30 crores, around I think 20, 23, 30 crores to AFF from SAI. 
So it's not government duty to make football improve. It's the federation, it's the ecosystem duty to make football improve. Boxing, wrestling, a different game. There's no league required. You select best boxers, send them out for outside for training. They train. Out of those 10 boxers, one might become very good. So that's the thing in boxing, wrestling and shooting and badminton. Football is very different compared to any other sports in India, even different to cricket also. So I think you can't compare football also, And but it's federation responsibility to improve the game not the uh, uh, government responsibility government is their government main priority is to build infrastructure build football ground football pitches uh, uh, you know that's one thing provide funds to aff which they provide uh, so i think these two things are there uh, can we see transfer including transfer fee this season yes alex uh, alkesh bani yes couple of players i know i aware of are in talks of the clubs with other clubs and they are under contract. We will see some kind of movement. Let's see where the, where that goes. Mina Cup com, uh, information. That's interesting. Not aware of anything about the dark flex. Have to check on that. Northeast United changing coach. Yes, they were supposed to. They were looking for Khali Jamil replacement in January only. Uh, they were looking for Indian coach though. It didn't happen. Let's see what they do with it. Uh, nearly 100 people are watching. But likes are the 56. If you are watching, just hit the like button also. Uh, bro, any news about Chennai FC? Uh, uh, Chennai FC head coach. There is, uh, there will be the news coming very soon. Uh, there will be some kind of news coming regarding Chennai FC head coach very soon. And I think now ISL team, what I am told, uh, all the not FC Goa though, other ISL team were looking for head coach. They are giving priority to the coaches who have already worked in Indian football. And that's why some names have come out. These coaches are interviewed by these clubs. So clubs are preferring coaches with the experience of ISL. Now, now that's uh, I think other than FC Goa, that's what I'm told right now. Ashish Dhira situation, is there any chance he move from Goa? I don't think Dhiraj will leave FC Goa. Amlan, AFA president election news. Parveen, you ask me every week. Every week you ask me same question and I don't have answer for the same. So still don't have any answer. Uh, Federation Cup will exist or cease in future. Durand Cup will be handed to ISL by Indian Army. It will be Indian Army not going to hand it over the Durand Cup to anybody else. Organized by Indian Army but under the umbrella of AFF again. I will come on the Durand Cup structure now. Uh, in couple of seconds, let me take some question. When will teams start camp for development league? Uh, I think some of team have asked their player to be... Uh, I think in, in this week only, we will see teams again starting their camps and some of team already training with their reserve team in their home state hockey also have european allies like germany dutch spain now we are away from top from them 10 years ago but now we are beating them santanu and but hockey the federation have done lots of work odisha government have done, done lots of work in that so that's my point is there is no shortcut it it took them 10 years to bridge the gap if India wants to qualify for the World Cup, we can't qualify over the night, you know, that's the thing. Why can't we have Listan, Manveer, Bipin, can't national team, what are their thoughts on that? I have shared my thought on the same is, one thing is that they play for the club throughout the year, practice throughout the year, that's one thing. Second thing, the communication with their other players, teammates are very good. They play alongside foreigners, they have four to five foreigners playing alongside in the important position and, you know, uh, uh, that's helped them. So that's the main thing. These couple of things and pressure to play for national team is different. Bro, Hero Cup Cup Suru Hoga and what is the structure? Saurav Rana, I will coming on the structure. My pen paper samjhaunga ko structure. Tension mat lo aap us baat ki. Do you think uh, Stimac will sack if we qualify for Asian Cup but finishing second in the group? Don't think so. I think if India qualify for the uh, Asia Cup, I think he will stay. I'm not sure. They will look for new coach in the short time. Uh, Albert Roka, Elko both got interview by ISL team so we have chances they will come but not confirmation till now uh, now let's let's come to the when we need corporate teams I don't think I league need to structure a different way I will have some idea today uh, let me open my iPad and open the pen paper for you guys just give me one second guys I hope you guys can listen to me so let me tell, let, let's, I am so many, let's go before 2014. And if you send me questions if you send me the questions, I will not be able to answer it because I am focusing on this. This is basically, Aajka is structure of Indian football.
मेरी हैंड राइटिंग में मत जाना गाइस हैंड राइटिंग बहुत बुरी है तो 2014 से पहले व्हाट यूज टू हैपन इन बिफोर 2014 इंडिया हैड टॉप लीग वाज आई लीग देयर वाज सेकंड डिवीजन लीग यू कैन कॉल इट parallelly india had one cup tournament which was controlled this is under the banner of aiff by the way nothing to do with state ifc shield durand cup anything and we used to have federation cup federation cup is a historic tournament you know and it's not it was banished just like that so what used to happen i league champion so i league champion used to go in the afc Champions League playoff, or you can call it qualifier, right? Then this is one Asian slot. Second slot used to go with Federation Cup. Winner. They used to go in AFC Cup. I think this was very simple. Uh, this was the structure of Indian football before ISL came in the picture. Everything was with the AFF banner, right? There was two leagues, I League and Second Division League, which was like a tournament only, but it was there with the promotion to I League. Then there was the Federation Cup. I League winner used to go in the AFC Cup, but 2014, 2013, I think Pune FC became very first club to play in the AFC Champions League, if I remember correctly. Then we got into qualifiers of AFC Champions League, and if Uh, the indian club were losing those qualifiers we were qualifying for the afc cup group stage directly and one club was going into the afc cup group stage or afc cup qualifier that time we were in the east zone so we we used to play uh, club from southeast asia right this is before 2014 then 2014 isl came isl started that time aff said isl is a is a is a like a uh, is like a franchise competition tournament nothing to do with uh, i league or any league with india i league i league will continue to be top league of the india and i league winner will continue to go to the uh, to the A asia but then when isl got isl got recognized or you can say isl got affiliated as a top league of india then what happen is that you know isl league stage winner got afc champions league slot group stage which was goa last year so with and india also started getting third uh, three slots in asia this was first slots in asia right and that made isl the top league of india the winner uh, league stage winner got champions league group stage slot second slot were given to i league i league winner but here's a catch i am going to write catch in the red it was slot of federation cup and this was slot of i league this these two thing happened and then in the meantime uh, aff also requested you know uh, the afc gave india another slot so third slot in asia was given to you know uh, isl winner so these are the three slots of uh, currently currently fast forward in 2022 now 
thing is now why it is becoming confusing because AFC has a rule that to play in AFC Champions League the winning club from that particular country winning club from say India need to play 27 matches and I league is not a league in uh, in the eyes of AFC it is a cup competition just like Federation Cup was right so now these 27 matches means AFF or ISL club need to make sure that the club like Mumbai City FC, FC Goa last year play at least 27 matches. So currently structure of India is our top league is ISL. Our cup competition is I league. This is currently our structure is. So once two slots, two slots go to ISL and one slot go to I-League Cup competition, just like it was before. Now they have to change this. They can't keep doing, keep on doing this. So as they have need 27 games, now they are reintroducing the leagues like these. There will be ISL, there will be I-League, but ISL will also have to play Super Cup. And Durand Cup to make sure the ISL club who go into Champions League get at least 27 games. Here is a question mark on I League. If Super Cups come into place and if Super Cup became the uh, official comp competition of India, I League AFC Cup slot, which AFF has said will be with the I League. Uh, for at least this year but I am not sure it will be there after the next season the reason means I think that slot will be given to Super Cup so what will happen ultimately three slots in Asia this is what I think nobody has told me two will go to ISL one will go to Super Cup and I League eventually will become a second tire league in India so your, your tire will be very simple you will have ISL you will have I League you will have second division league if, if they keep on doing it and all these three clubs, three leagues will might have their uh, clubs in Super Cup. And my point is don't call it Super Cup, keep it, make it Federation Cup again. At least Federation Cup have the legacy of uh, India, it was started way back in 70s. So this will happen I think uh, next year, I-League slot, I-League this slot will go away. I personally think it will go to Super Cup or Federation Cup, what you will call it. And I-League will be second division league, you know, India. And I think that's why I can do it. Another thing I want to, instead of introducing reserve league, maybe what can do, they put all the ISL reserve team here, just like in Spain, uh, Barca and uh, Mad Real Madrid team play in the, uh, in uh, uh, Segunda division, you know. And those, what you can do is like, if they're at uh, 11 ISL club, top six ISL club reserve team goes directly to I-League, other five go to second division. Let them win the second division and qualify to I League if they can. You make it two qualifying every year if I League uh, ISL reserve team qualifies. And don't allow them to qualify ISL in future, but let them play in I League, which means there will no need to organize the reserve league. Uh, those I I ISL reserve team will get good competition in I League. Player will develop, and just like Spain, it will help the upcoming player. So this is the currently the structure of Indian football. Now let me come into the you know questions which you guys might be asking regarding the same. So I've missed a lot of them. So regarding Super Cup, next season calendar, many people are asking. ISL we know will start September, October. Super Cup after ISL in April. Durand Cup. Will start in 
अगस्त और एंड इन सेप्टेम्बर सो दिस विल बी द कैलेंडर फॉर द अपकमिंग सीजन विल नंबर ऑफ गेम इंक्रीज इन आई लीग एंड लोअर डिविजन इफ यू पुट मोर आई एस एल रिजर्व टीम नंबर ऑफ गेम विल इवेंचुअली विल इंक्रीज दैट्स माई पॉइंट इज पुट द रिजर्व टीम इन टू आई लीग और सेकेंड डिविजन इन द इन दिस इनारा एंड दिस इज कॉम्प्लेक्स नॉट मेड बाई मी इट इट मेड बाई दी यू नो द वे इंडियन फुटबॉल स्ट्रक्चर इट कुड बी सिंप्लीफाइड जस्ट लाइक इट वॉज वे वे बैक इन ट्वेंटी फोर्टीन आई थिंक दैट्स द वे दे शुड डू इट बट आई पर्सनली थिंक ट्वेंटी पर्सनली थिंक दैट रिजर्व टीम्स दे शुड बी नो रिजर्व लीग पुट दोज रिजर्व लीग इन द सेकेंड डिविजन एंड आई लीग अकॉर्डिंग टू सम रैंकिंग यू नो एंड लेट दम फेस अ कॉम्पिटेटिव फुटबॉल इंस्टेड ऑफ प्लेइंग इन 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 दम सेल्फ ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री ट्वेंटी फोर सीजन शुड बी विटनेस अ मैसिव चेंज इन मैकेजम ऑफ इंडियन फुटबॉल आई थिंक दैट्स वेर दे मूविंग टूवर्ड्स यू नो एज ए there will be isl there will be i league second division but super cup will be take take the i league slot india under 17 under 20 under 23 why not play friendly matches how indian football improve that's been asked by way long i have been saying reserved young youth teams need to play on regular basis hero i league on sports ki sab kahi aur dekh sakta hu i think aapko nahi kahi aur nahi dekh sakte i league ke facebook page pe chalta tha but abhi nahi chal raha hoga mujhe dekhna padega i say which all isl team will participate in durand cup super cup amlan everybody will participate in durand cup and super cup it has been made sure that all isl team even if they send their reserve teams so even they send send their not say reserve team reserve player in durand cup they can't call it reserve team all those team will be called their first team and that's that's how they need to make it sure you know uh, that no team will be called reserved everybody will be the first team and i think all the team will play in the durand cup uh, on the on the super cup at least i'm aware durand cup i have to check uh, ashish bhai how are you i'm fine i want know some updates about jamshedpur fc can you provide an update about jamshedpur new head coach is peter greg jordan stay, staying uh greg not sure at this time i will leave honestly jordan in talks with other isl club also peter might stay that's what i'm told but i think not sure with greg and jordan at this time i mean really liking delhi sudev fc there are some gems in that side hope their future doesn't get destroyed that's why promotion relegation will come into scenario that these clubs can qualify to isl they will not change the name of super cup because according to fsdl there was a no football in india before 2014 the dark night will teams take durand cup seriously as no afc cup slot even if they, they don't take seriously they have to send uh, their team in under the banner of first first team and, and you know uh, because it will count towards the afc licensing so they have to take in some in seriously but it is a pre season tournament they can't have a same intensity like isl they will in the durand cup will number of game increase in i league Uh, same question. Level of Indian players in I League and ISL is so not so different. So coaches need to focus on both league for national team selection. I have said this again and again that you know uh, it's it's very similar level. It's the foreigners and the overall uh, quality which improve in the ISL. So I think it, if national team is getting selected, good selected from all the leagues. We have seen Stephen Constantine calling Indian players in the national team uh, from the second division that time you know just like i league this time so that time you used to call players from the second division manveer singh rolvin borges rolvin borges was called from goa pro league he was not even playing i league or i league second division that time so i think if quality players are there in the uh, second division league in the state league they should be called by national team coach uh, how many how many many uh, how many a team will play how many match a team will play in durand cup uh, going by durand cup previous format there were four teams in a group so at least three games were played by a team before they get knocked out if they go to the knockout round then they can play more games should indian arrows be promoted to isl next year i don't think the i league is their level they should keep on playing there don't think about isl let indian players uh, play pressure free and develop them make themselves for ready for isl then then isl team will be there to snatch them from these indian arrows you know that's happened in past will <coughs> durand cup quality improve considering last year disappointment i think there was last year i was also disappointed overall structure of it but i what i'm told is that's the talks are going on to bring the durand cup under one umbrella of indian football and we might see uh, durand cup going you know uh, properly but kolkata in in the month of august might have again rain so they have to figure out the uh, the weather and everything to before announcing the host of the durand cup so let's see how they do it a uh, new team to isl next season mohammedan i don't think so durand cup ka telecast aff dekhega ya fsdl uh, i think telecast durand cup wale dekhenge i am not sure fsdl have 
rights for Duran Cup. Uh, but let's see, I think, how, what kind of contract do, maybe they can, they can do some leasing of Duran Cup for, uh, say, next five years, AFF or FSGL take it, uh, organizing rights of it, um, they organize it in a way, the way what they want to organize. Ashish, what is the total expense for a second division team and I-League team? Okay, this is complicated though. I-League team used to spend, I don't have a latest figures, but when the home and away season was, the I-League team used to spend around 40 to 45 lakhs in traveling, then the salaries, their budget for in and around, a small team budget was in and around, total budget, budget including player salaries and everything was around 1 to 2 crores, you know, and they, they were I-League teams who have budget around 5 to 7 crores also in past. So, but I'm doing minimally, I-League team have spent minimum 80, 90, 1 crore, 80, 90 lakhs to 1 crore rupees minimum, I'm telling, with minimum facilities and minimum things on place. Uh, new head coach of uh, Bhai CD Prasad, you are repeating a question. I have taken that question. Sheikh Jamal Cup is recognized by AFC. Can Durant Cup get such? Yes, Durant Cup get such recognition for sure. It has a history, it has a legacy, and that's how they are going to propose it to AFC to make it uh, recognized so that you know uh, Durant Cup match gets counted to be played uh, to be in those 27 games. FSDL ne dikhaega to sahi se dekhne ko nahi milega. Let's see how they do it. I think still the Uska, they got technicalities still need to be done. Abhi tak hua nahi hai, I can't say anything regarding the same. What about having under 13, under 15, under 17, all league like Hero, Allied League or Youth Cup but also include I-League clubs. Uh, I-League clubs used to be there in the Allied Leagues also, if I tell you honestly. Uh, but this is not happening since last 3 years now, 2 years. Who is going to Columbia, Dark, Dark Flux, Aapko Marcus hai pushna padega for that. Uh, what about having that have taken ATK Mohan Bagan transfer update from the Abhi dekho kuch itna advance nahi hai to update on the ATK Mohan Bagan Pritam Kotal to Kerala Blasters have been off, uh, has been offered but wo bhi itna advance it is not also that advance um, uh, Aman Faisal uh, of that that I, I need to speak on this show uh, but yeah I will get news once it get confirmed from our side uh, but club play 26 game uh, how 27 26, yeah, sorry, 26 games, not 27. They need to play minimum 26 games uh, to qualify, uh, to be eligible to play in the AFC Championship from next year on, onwards. India chance to qualify for FIFA under 17 Cup 2023. I have to check the kind of team. The preparation is not good. Our team is nowhere to be seen. We have not played international match for a while now. So I'm not sure. I think we'll have 10% chance, maybe less than that. Uh, situation about Halicharan and Arindam. Halicharan, Nazri and Arindam. I have, don't have any latest news or they have to check. Total 9 months, August to April. I think good start for now. I think ideally we should have a league from October to March every year. Then you can keep April free because April became very huge and humid. Uh, today is 1st of April. I think I'm sure in afternoon you can't play football in Delhi. Same with Goa. So I think it's not easy to play football in April in India. I think ideally we should have our majority of football done in September to March only. Will Sumit continue ATK Morgan loan to other clubs? ATK Morgan loan system is not that well. No, other clubs don't want to uh, develop their players. Also, ISL club for sure. Uh, and that's why I've seen with Komal and uh, Boris. They left ATK Morgan when the contract got expired. They didn't left on the loan. Uh, for how much time? World Cup break will be there. Okay, World Cup break, uh, if I remember correctly, uh, the Premier League teams, I was told, uh, were taking break from 14th of December, 14th of December to uh, January. Uh, and I think that will be one month when ISL will also take break. Mina Cup. Bhaiya, dekho, agar Mina Cup ka hai, to telecast to hoga nahi. Telecast in broadcast. Live streaming, you will get it for Mina Cup, but I'm not sure you will get anything for the uh, telecast, you know, uh, for Mina Cup. So, live streaming will get on a some time of, you know, uh, Facebook or some kind of, uh, or YouTube. So, Reliance Youth Foundation, Minerva Punjab, not Minerva Punjab, Minerva Academy is playing into it. Uh, and there will be Wolves also from Europe, Manchester City, La Liga's Academy also is there. Barcelona is also there. City Football Club is also there. I am not sure what is City Football Club. 
there are top academies into it uh, right now fixtures have they announced the fixtures for it it's in dubai mm 8th of april april is starting the first game is on okay bhai yeah so just want to clarify uh, this look like a grassroots festival instead of any competitive tournament if you ask me very honestly uh, this is for under 12 under 14 under 16 under 18 you know and uh, it's like a you play 3 to 4 games in one day then you play knockout group matches in another day friendlies then there is semi final final next day and then it's like a five day trip you go and play games and come it's i think that's more of a festival than a tournament for me if you ask me regarding the same so let me take some questions now if colombia if you ask a fake then smile don't reply santanu bhai aisa koi hint nahi milega i am not giving you any hint here ashwari you told one question of mine that was about peter jordan greg and if you told anything about jamshedpur head coach before i join now i don't know can you tell again jamshedpur head coach process is undergoing right now so i can't say anything that's one thing greg not done to any any club outside india in india in india it will be jamshedpur for sure jordan murray talks are going on but the other clubs also interested in jordan murray so that's the thing i'm aware so let's see this still talks are going on so i can't say this is done this is done we have to wait for those talks getting over and then i can tell you guys uh, northeast head coach uh, datta ji uh, last in january they were looking for the indian coach right now i have now given no news about that they are looking for a foreign coach at this stage will they go with indian coach or foreign coach we have to still see northeast act at very later stage so let's see when they act in their for the head coach right now i think right now they are maybe relaxing a bit and then maybe in the later part of the april they start their hunt for the head coach kafa tournament uh, in the new team participation news nothing right now parveen uh, you view on odisha fc power of money do they need good amount of money odisha fc as one of the top foreigners in term of uh, jonathan jesus uh, javier hernandez so it's not that they don't they don't have uh, big money they don't have a money unka paisa hai nahi unka they have a good money if they have to smart with the coach and the everything you know they can do well i think they have provided good money to the uh, players they have signed this uh, previous season which ended is greg stewart is leaving jamshedpur fc i think question is here jamsh greg stewart uh, have not signed a new contract with jamshedpur fc as of now So as of now, there is no confirmation that he is leaving or not. He has not signed with anybody outside India also. So the talks are going on before he finalizes his decision, uh, finalizes his decision and sign for a, a Jamshedpur or a club outside India. He, that's the two possible scenario I can see. Uh, office then do reply on Twitter. Santu, we can do a collab and all, but of course our work is very busy. So if somebody has approach. us uh, i will definitely do the collab that's not a big issue will vp swear extend with north east united i think depend on khalid jamil also i think vp swear have been very good player for khalid jamil so will khalid jamil stay maybe then will decide vp swear will st- uh, extend or not ideally he should extend he stayed there play there i think he he is one of the few indian strikers who have been playing game in isl it's good for indian football so let's see how we do it which are the richest club in isl in uh, in club order hmm Overall, if you see the how you can find which club is richest, see their owners. I think definitely uh, in the term of ranking, you put Mumbai City FC on top, JSW Group on the second, Bangalore FC, ATK Mohan Bagan on third. I think it's draw between FC Goa and uh, Kerala Blaster, fourth. I think, sorry, I forget Jamshedpur. <laughs> Jamshedpur FC Tata you know Tata there so you have to put Tata Jamshedpur FC in the in the top 5 in terms of the uh, the owners uh, net wealth you know and i think uh, then of course followed by teams like uh, Odisha FC Chennai FC and you know uh, Hyderabad and North East United then there's the East Bengal they are the legacy club but right now they don't have stable uh, stable how to say stable investor or stable sponsor to be called as a riches but legacy they have one of the biggest legacy in indian football so money wise currently they don't have a stable sponsor on board that's important ogbeche contract extension with hyderabad that's very important good question uh, ranish will ogbeche finally stay at the club back to back he missed champions league with mumbai city fc 
I think that's on his mind. What I'm told right now is a high chance Ugbeche might stay with Hyderabad FC, but not confirmation till now. Why JJ is not playing? JJ had an injury. Recovery may issue aa gaya tha. Then again he got recovered. Then again he got injured again. So I think let's see will he play this year or not. That's important. And uh, which which will be the home ground for East Bengal for the next season in ISL? I think sure they will use Salt Lake Stadium. Uh, both the clubs, you know, uh, that's what I think. How much chance of Spanish coach in Odisha FC? Also, any update on Odisha FC foreign pre-season? I think uh, they have been planning something to do in Europe, Odisha FC. Uh, the pre-season, but again, again, COVID structure and everything, COVID guidelines need to be uh, taken care. And I think once they get the coach, then they will also confirm the same thing. Most teams will do experiment with their tactics in pre-season tournaments. Some coach made fun of the ISL pre-season is bigger than the league. Uh, honestly, but I think league will get bigger to bigger this season onwards. It will go home and away. Uh, it will go from Thursday to Sunday. So that means your matches more and more you will going to have on the week weekends and that means the league will be bigger in terms of the duration performance of gokulam and atk mohan bagan afc will show the quality of isl versus i league i think this this debate have been very old now so i think i am not going to get into the debate of i league versus isl right now we all know indian players are the similar level in the both the league it's the foreigners which make difference you can say you put gokulam kela indian players and put say for example mumbai city fc foreigners will gokulam kela will be the the player the playing style and everything will be similar level of the ISL team. I think so. Yes. Uh, why AFC not organizing youth Champions League like UEFA? <sighs> AFC is not doing so many things. So this is another thing we are not doing. I think at least what they are doing right now, at least they can do it properly. That will be great. Like not putting our clubs in the AFC Cup in South Zone, which means we just play Nepal, Bangladesh, Sri Lanka, Maldives clubs, and only one club of ours qualified to the knockout stage. Put us back in the East Zone, you know. Let us play these Asian clubs, Thailand, not Thailand, Thailand in the Champions League now. Uh, the clubs like uh, Indonesia, club like Malaysian clubs, not bad to play, you know. And I think uh, that's really good for us to play South Asian clubs, you know. Good fan engagement also both sides. They have a good fans in on social media. India have good fans on social media. So tug of war will also go between the fans, and then fans can travel across to Southeast Asia to support their club. Uh, Pereira Dyer's extension news. They can't extend just like that. He, he has a contract with his parent club. They want him to stay. That's why they extended his contract. So, if Pereira Dyer can secure his release from his parent club, then Kerala Blaster will, will, will have, have already have the contract in place for him. But he needs to make sure that uh, there is, you know, uh, release from his parent club. Ayush and Pyuta will stay at Kerala Blaster for sure. Both have done good this season. And I think Ivan wants to see them in the upcoming season to play the important role for the team. Indian team, Baiching Bhutia, Renedi Singh, ETC, Time versus current team. Our team is hai or yeah, other countries have improved. Kiya hai. That's important. Uh, Baiching Bhutia is a 2011 Asia Cup team versus 2019 Asia Cup team. I think it was on par, both the team. But now if you compare both the Asia Cup team, with the current Indian team, I will say our team level in terms of quality, overall quality playing as together as a team has gone down. We might have exciting individual player, but they are not playing well in the team right now. Why don't India promote football like South Korea promote archery in their country? China promote football. Indian government don't care for how long tolerate this. Okay. Uh, CD Prasad, yeah, one thing Indian government have the priority to feed people. And I'm not saying for just this government, every government, education, sanitary, uh, cleanliness, toilets, infrastructure. I'm sure they can't get into actively sports like the other governments because other, other countries already in the de developed phase. Then they have made these federations, National Federation for Sports. What they, they, it's their job to promote their sport, not the government. The government job is to provide infrastructure, provide funding if required and that's what government has done. Government have provided funding for 2017 Asia Cup, then Women's Asia Cup, then the Under-17 World Cup for women's also, then the uh, the early budget to AFF is given by SAI around 20 to 30 crores. So you can't say government is not promoting football. Uh, uh, so I think that's my point is federation need to do their job, not the government at this point because government have different priorities. Why is the Iman news getting late? I think it will get done, don't worry. Uh, Steamak Chacha contract news, then no news on Steamak Chacha right now. Uh, I think it will only come when the qualifiers end. 
भाई क्रिकेट में क्रिकेट प्रेजेंट है तो फुटबॉल में पॉलिटिशियन क्यों क्रिकेट में सुप्रीम कोर्ट ने इंटरव्यून करा था अब अनुराग ठाकुर प्रेजेंट था यस फॉर फुटबॉल द केस इज ऑन सुप्रीम कोर्ट ओनली उसका रिजल्ट आएगा तभी हो सकता है बट टू सी दिस सौरभ गांगली बिफोर इन क्रिकेट देर वर यू नो देर वर हाउ टू से देर वर पॉलिटिशियन प्रेजेंट ऑल्सो जगमोहन डालमिया वॉज देयर देन देयर वॉज शरद पवार इन पास सो इट्स नॉट लाइक क्रिकेट इट डजेंट हैपन या बट इट कैन हैपन जस्ट लाइक सौरभ गांगली या फुटबॉलर कैन ऑल्सो बिकम अ प्रेजेंट ऑफ ए आई एफ बट ही हैज टू कम थ्रू दी स्टेट फेडरेशन फिफा वैन केनिया जापान जिम्बाबे पाकिस्तान वाई नॉट इंडिया थर्टीन ईयर ऑफ नो इलेक्शन जस्ट वन मनी Uh, at least we have something in place as compared to Pakistan and other team. Why Sumit Rati was wasting time on bench? Why some players signed for clubs only for money or for money? They are sold fake dreams, fake vision. That's why they get signed with these clubs and sit sit on the long contract there. Uh, so guys, I have eight percent battery remaining, so I have to go. Sorry, uh, I didn't connect my charger before start of the live streaming. Uh, but thank you very much for joining in. Uh, I will see you next week. Hopefully, there will be update on the some contract extension, some coaches for Chennai FC, Odisha, and uh, FC Goa. वो रहेगा. भाई हिंदी में भी बोलता हूँ यार mix up करने की कोशिश करता हूँ. फिर लोग बोलते हैं हिंदी English में बोलो थोड़ा mix up करना पड़ता है. उसके लिए sorry. भाई गढ़वाली club कब आएगा I League में? गढ़वाल FC है. Best भाई दिल्ली से. But वो इतना ही गढ़वाली है यार. जितने चंडीगढ़ मतलब होते हैं दिल्ली के गढ़वाली उतने ही है होपफुली होपफुली वन डे मतलब मेरा भी अपना ड्रीम है यार अपना क्लब देवभूमि से स्टार्ट करने का सो लेट्स सी व्हेन 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 वी कैन डू दैट यू नो नॉट एट दिस टाइम मे बी इन फाइव टेन इयर्स आई वांट टू स्टार्ट माय ओन अकेडमी और ओन क्लब फ्रॉम उत्तराखंड बिकॉज आई थिंक उत्तराखंड हैव लॉट्स ऑफ लॉट्स ऑफ पोटेंशियल टू हैव प्रोड्यूस मोर फुटबॉल लाइक अनुज था you know dipender negi rohit dhano we can produce more of these that's for sure our physique also can provide a different kind of complex structure different type of solution to indian football you know uh, waiting for himanshu jangra to fit for indian arrows that's good jassi lana main bhul gaya india ke match se pehle zarur launga jersey mil gayi hai meri kho gayi thi dobara hum kisi almari mein nahi mil rahi thi mil gayi hai zarur launga and uh, hopefully these things will get changed very soon we will have indian mufflers here we are working on that सो होपफुली कैलाश भाई अभी तो गढ़वाली क्लब नहीं आ रहा है बट मैं लेके आऊंगा गढ़वाली क्लब एक दिन कौन गढ़वाली पर उत्तराखंडी क्लब एक दिन जरूर लेके आऊंगा इंडियन फुटबॉल में बट अभी नहीं अभी थोड़ा लेट हो गया सो गाइज थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग आज स्ट्रक्चर समझाया था इंडियन फुटबॉल का मैंने पेन पेपर से आप जाके वो दोबारा देख सकते हैं पीछे जाके इस वीडियो के एंड में अगर आपने लेट ज्वाइन किया है तो आई जस्ट मेट ट्राई टू मेक यू गाइज अंडरस्टैंड यू नो वट काइंड ऑफ स्ट्रक्चर वी हैड before isl came in uh, 2014 and what kind of structure we have right now and why is so confusing and aage ja ke kya ho sakta structure ka aap ja ke dekh lena ek bar piche ja ke agar aapne dekha nahi hai aur agar aapne video like nahi kiya please like ka button dabaiye uh, uh, we are working on background and everything yaar yeah, time thoda kam lag raha hai uh, but we will we'll make it very fancy very soon don't worry we'll make a good atmosphere for you guys abhi thoda basic hi rakha hai ठीक है तो आई विल सी यू गाइज नेक्स्ट फ्राइडे 6 पी एम वी आर बैक ऑन दिक्स पी एम टाइम नाउ टिल कबड्डी कम्स बैक अगेन सो वो बात कर लेंगे एंड यू नो सेकिंग ऑफ कोच इज नेवर अ गुड सॉल्यूशन बट दैट्स मीन इफ यू सेकिंग अ कोच दैट मीन्स यू अपॉइंटेड रॉन्ग कोच सो इट्स द डिसीजन मेकर हु आर द रॉन्ग नॉट द कोच बिकॉज डिसीजन मेकर सेलेक्टेड दैट कोच नॉट द कोच सेलेक्टेड हिमसेल्फ सो दैट्स द पॉइंट थैंक यू गाइज सी यू सून सिक्स पी एम नेक्स्ट फ्राइडे इफ एनीथिंग इंपॉर्टेंस हैपन Before that we will be live here on this channel thank you for watching see you guys next friday 6 pm